Cherry here. I just wanted to say happy Monday and I hope that you guys are having a safe holiday if you are in the United States um, and stuff like that. But I hope that if you're snowed in or whatever that you stay warm and safe. But during this time I know that things are really hectic at the moment because of this pandemic and stuff like that um sorry if my English is kind of weird um I'm bilingual like I've said in previous videos and stuff like that so it gets a little hectic um I do voice acting so I can change my voice at will um but I just wanted to say that if you need a friend to talk to, um, I'm open. I just, I'm very shy. I'm not one of those people that responds first. Um, I just never have been. I've kind of been reclusive or whatever you call that, uh, where you just watch and observe people around you or the world around you and just, you know, wait for the right moment for somebody to talk to you or stuff like that. I'm kind of shy. I have always been like that. In fact, when I was in second grade, a girl came up to me. Her name was Elise and she basically asked to be my best friend. And I said, yeah, because I really was new to that school and I was just new to that town and I was very shy. Um, I was adopted years prior, only a few years prior to that and so, you know, it, it was a really tough time for me, but <clears throat> it's never going to be easy. Life has its obstacles, it has its, you know, issues and stuff like that. but. I am always here to give a helping hand, aka hoof, <laughs> you know, because my pony and everything, but whatever. Um, but as long as you guys know that no matter how far this road takes us, that it's gonna be bumpy and sometimes but sometimes it's also going to be easy it's going to be simple for others I don't understand why good people get hurt and I don't understand why the bad people get everything don't ask me <laughs> because I wish I knew but um, I just wanted to say that we should try to stick together it's just really hard right now and I just live to inspire. My mom, Peggy, she was a really wonderful woman. She basically raised me when I was little till the point where like I was adopted. Uh, she would tell me to, you know, help others, but also to put myself first sometimes, which I don't do. And I feel like my mother would be kind of mad at me if she knew that I only put others first. But that's just how I've always been. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you gotta be a little selfish to basically make sure your health is good. And mine is not right now. I am getting sicker and sicker, but I am a fighter, so... I will continue to fight this condition I got and I will continue to, you know, try to inspire people. 
I don't care about my fame or whatever. I don't care about how many followers I get daily on Amino or Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. I just want to inspire people. That's all I do. That's why my music sometimes is very upbeat and lifting because I just try to make people stay. It's just how I've always been. Um, I'm very shy sometimes, but it doesn't mean that I won't talk to people. It's just I've never been one of those people that been able to talk first. It's just hard for me <laughs> because when I'm bilingual, I've said that in previous videos, I speak two languages. I speak Cherokee, Tongste, also known as Tongste, or, you know, English. And English and Tongste can get mixed and mumbled together to me, and it gets a little hectic for me. So, you know, if I don't understand you, don't take it to heart. It's just, I'm Native American. It's really hard. But lately, I've been dealing with people, you know, I don't know if other people have been dealing with this as well, but people have been demanding to know what I look like and demanding to know, you know, my race or whatever. It doesn't matter what you are, we're all human, you know, it, why should one person care about what one person's race is, it's really none of their business, because the person who is that business, that's their personal life, like, I don't understand why people have to intrude on other people's lives like that. Because it's really none of their business. It's just really, I don't understand why there's this whole race thing. We're all the human race. It's just weird that people just are treated so poorly just because one race is darker than the other or stuff like that. My people believe that everybody is equal. But that's just how Cherokee are raised. Well, anyway, I'm going to get off now. And I just want to say, cherry cherry on. Even if I'm gone. Every pony.